Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today we are going to create this kind of beautiful text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video. Let's remove everything from the artboard and I'll select my background layer and draw a simple rectangle of 1200 pixel by 800 pixel. Let's center this to the artboard and I'll fill this with a radial gradient. After that, I'll use these two colors for this gradient. Let's lock this background layer and let's start creating our text effect. The font I'm using for this text effect is Cheetah Cake and the font size will be 400 point. Click on this none to remove the fill color. Then we'll go to appearance panel. Click on this icon, add new fill. After that, go to the gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient. Chain angle to 90. After that, select this white point and replace with this color. And click on this black point and change the color of this point to this blue one. Next, again go to appearance panel, select this fill layer, click on this plus icon to duplicate this layer and now keep selecting this first layer then go to effect, path and offset path and here we'll apply a minus 5 pixel offset path then click OK. Now select this layer and duplicate this. Now select the second layer and change the color of this layer to white. Next, select this first layer, go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Here apply values like this. I think 1.5 pixel and 1.5 pixel will be good then click OK next select this layer and duplicate this after that select this last layer change the color of this layer to this gradient one I have created this gradient using these colors I'm applying this color to save the time if you want this gradient you can ask me in the comment section and I'll upload this and I'll give the link to you next keep selecting this layer go to effect distort and transform and transform here in move values apply values like this and create a 36 copies and click OK. Next, select this layer, duplicate this, change the color of this to any abstract color. Next, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. Apply values like this then click OK. Now select this layer, drag this to bottom and now change the color of this layer to this one. Again duplicate this layer. We'll hide this layer for now and we'll use this layer later for drop shadow. Next select this layer and change the color of this layer to this one then go to effect path and offset path apply a 20 pixel offset path then click ok next select this layer 
duplicate this now select this second layer and change the color of this layer to brown base then go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and here apply values like this then click ok let's apply a little darker color to this layer next select this layer duplicate this again change the color and let's move this layer around 16 pixel and click ok now move this layer to bottom again select this layer and change the color of this layer to this one again duplicate this hide this first layer and we'll use this layer later for drop shadow and select this layer click on this arrow and then go to offset path apply a 30 pixel offset path then click ok next Let's apply a default black and white gradient to this layer. Change the angle to 90. Apply this color to black point and this color to white point. Again, go to appearance panel. Keep selecting this layer. Now, duplicate this layer. Then select this last layer then go to effect distort and transform transform click on apply new effect and apply values like this then click ok now change the color of this layer to this gradient let's adjust this gradient Let's change the angle of this gradient to 0 and let's adjust this gradient a little bit. So next, let's apply drop shadows to our text effect. First, let's unhide this layer and change the color of this layer to black. And duplicate this now change the opacity of this layer to 25 and blend mode to multiply next select this layer go to effect blur and Gaussian blur apply a 15 pixel Gaussian blur then click OK next select this layer unhide this change the color of this layer to black change the opacity to 50 percent blend mode to multiply and then click on this layer duplicate this now select this layer and change the color of this layer to this one next click on this arrow then click on transform apply values like this then click ok now select this layer again duplicate this change the color of this layer to black click on this arrow then click on transform let's move this layer to like this and then click ok next drag this layer to bottom select this layer click on effect blur Gaussian blur apply a 35 pixel Gaussian blur and click OK 
click on this arrow change the opacity to 50 percent change the blend mode to multiply and click ok next let's create hearts select ellipse tool draw an ellipse and duplicate this ellipse like this now select both these ellipse click on this icon to create a compound shape then press a on your keyboard or you can select this direct selection tool then select this point and drag this round about this then select the pen tool and press the alt button on your keyboard and then click on this point let's remove this point and also this one and here is our heart next let's see how we can apply this 3d effect to this heart uh, in a single click let's go to layers and click on this arrow now now you can see here is our heart and here is our text effect select this text effect on by clicking on this click to target button and now drag this to this heart layer here you go as you can see the complete effect is applied to our heart let's adjust this let's duplicate this here is our final text effect loop i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching